So gold has been going up quite a bit. Why is this happening? Guys, welcome to the channel, The Moral Survivalist. And if you're interested in this sort of stuff specifically, I strongly recommend you get surviving the economic collapse based on my experience of going through just that in Argentina. Now, uh, yeah, go, this taught me that when everything else uh, loses value, when your currency, when your fiat money loses value, of course, gold is the thing that retains it. It's not that it's going up. It's just not going down like your fiat currency. So if that happens with your local economy, and these days it kind of is everywhere. That's why you see this happening. But hey, let's talk about this a little bit more. Before I go on, I'm not giving any kind of financial advice. This is not just a disclaimer. I'm just trying to be super honest about it. I'm not telling you to go buy a ton of gold, put everything. You want to have a uh, smart level-headed approach different baskets you know eggs in different baskets and so on uh, and it's probably not the best moment right now when it's reaching a record high to go buy more than you plan on doing uh, and also keep in mind again when you're gonna sell whatever go you're gonna be taking a big hit no matter where you go sell it you know some are some dealers are a little bit better than others especially if you bought from them already they may rebuy it for less of a of a hit but you're usually taking a big hit now having said all of that when your fiat currency completely dies gold is yeah great thing to have um, the, the same can be said about a number of other assets. If you have real estate, if you have you know things like those, if you have a, a, a collector's item or a, a, something that holds its value or even increases it at times going by, it's not an investment. It is a, a, it is an asset. It is something physical that you can later sell. An investment actually creates profit for you as, as it sits. That's not the case with gold, with art, with uh, weapons, with collectibles, with, with none of those things. Does it create value? You only may end up earning money. You may end up winning, making a little bit of money when you sell it. But investment, proper investment, it just generates money for you. That is not it. But hey, why is this happening? That's a big question I'd like to look into now. Uh, why investors are buying gold? Well, there are a few reasons. To capitalize on future price growth. So yeah, you're looking at, hey, it's trending up, I'll buy, so as to sell later. That is quite a, quite a, and here is where you wonder, well, you should have bought it like when it was down, right? You should have bought it way before, but yeah, it is very typical human nature. Oh, it's going up, it's been going up since a few months ago, still going up, I'll buy, sell later, make money. Big difference here between the physical and just having the position. You go onto your Revolut account, which is something I should do a video about because that's that's pretty useful at times. It, you buy gold online, right? You have that. Ah, oh, yeah, I just bought like stocks. You buy gold. You have and you sell it, and you don't get the kind of hit that you do when you move it around physically. But when you move it around physically, you're damn sure you actually have that thing in hand, and that at least. From what I'm doing in terms of preparedness, that has a peace of mind that simply does not compare. To protect against economic uncertainties, that's a big thing for gold or benefits, uh, which uh, gold allures beyond price. Then your investor should go for its unique characteristics. Uh, yeah, it can be used. It's uh, it's something that is it has an industrial uh, appeal. Sure, um, I think that a lot of what you see now is war. There's a lot of fear with what's happening in the Middle East, with what's the, the, the stuff going on in Ukraine. Even I would throw in there the, the crisis that you have immigration uh, or, yeah, invasion, depending on how you want to look at it in terms of what's happening in the United States for years now, in Europe for years now. Uh, UK is particularly bad. France, Germany, these are countries that are being hit very hard and they've even made a change in pattern in terms of we, we're not doing this anymore. We cannot do this anymore. And that will have its consequences. Once you say, you know, you know, we're cutting back on this madness. Well, no, you're not allowed to do that. We're the ones ruling things here now. That is not going to be easy. And that's apparently what's coming. So guys, yes, gold is going up for these reasons. I think that, first of all, the economy, yes, the, the, the interest it cuts it do affect this. The... Um, economy not doing as well uh, as they say it is it also makes a big difference and the fear of uh conflict ahead in the horizon does affect this too see you in our next video guys take care